Those are beautiful. Those are really pretty. Yep, right there. Chanel. Made in France. That is the Chanel vintage necklace right there. Salvatore Ferragamo. Here we go. Valentino. Oh, very exciting stuff here. Let's go over some of the values. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this small 5x5 locker through an online auction. I thought I had way overpaid for it at 380 bucks, but it was about a mile from my house and I wanted to see what was inside. I was in for quite a surprise as the contents went far beyond my expectations. It turns out the prior owner had passed away and left a vintage designer clothing collection including Versace, Chanel, and St. John, which is worth thousands, probably the best clothing I've ever found. In the last episode, I cracked into a box I've been saving for last. There's been some nice jewelry so far, but let's pick up where we left off and find out what's in those little Chanel boxes. All right, guys, let's get to these. Which one's first? Which one's first? Okay, I think I did this one before. Oh, this one's heavy. I definitely didn't do the heavy one. I think I did this one before, so let's take a peek in that one first because uh, we already peeked in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at that. That's really pretty. Clip on earrings. Felipe Fernandez, Paris, it says. Nice. Okay, that's our first piece right there. Felipe, those are beautiful. Those are really pretty. Clip on earrings, that's great. I we'll have to look that up. I know there's some brands of uh, costume jewelry that which are very expensive. Jay Feinberg, those are really pretty. Jay Feinberg, again, we'll have to look that up. <laughs> I'm just imagining like people who actually know their stuff are watching me go through this thing. Well, I don't know that, I'll have to look it up. And they're, I know some of you are going like, oh, what? Oh, geez, that's great. Oh, I wish I could find that. You know, like, you know exactly what this is. You know, drooling for it, and here I am, bumbling around, no clue. Um, I have some clue that this is good. Obviously, when you find Versace and Chanel in a locker, we can assume the other stuff's going to be pretty dang decent as well. But this right here is, um, I know Maker Mark on it, but those are pretty. See that? Very nice looking, very nice, very nice. Okay. But this right here. That's the Chanel logo. It's like a felt back here. Felt. I'll take like the lint brush and clean that up a little bit. Uh, the Chanel logo. Okay, maybe it's under here. Oh yeah, there it is. Chanel, made in France. The crusty stuff on here. I think these have like little rubber cushions, and they're probably just roasted and toasted from all the years of being in storage. That's what I would guess. Yeah, these need to be cleaned up a little bit. 2-9, is that like a model number? That's what I would guess. Those are pretty, okay. I'll keep it zoomed in here. Oh yeah, oh, we looked at these before. Yeah, look at that, <laughs> that's lovely. Right there, Chanel, Paris. Okay, dang, that's nice. Yep, right there, Chanel, made in France. 94p i have a feeling that's like the style number like model number okay that's good <laughs> that's a good really good let's go with these we'll save the heaviest for last okay this one is heavier let's go with this one okay There we go. Another Chanel. Chanel, two, nine. Made in France. Nice, okay. Again, very pretty. <laughs> Stuff's crazy, crazy, you guys. It's just crazy. It's such good stuff. All right, now. Whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho. 
Look at this. Could this be gold? It's heavy. Like, really heavy, but that doesn't mean nothing. It could be plated. Um, Chanel 2, 3, made in France. I don't see any make, um, precious metal mark. But that's pretty, huh? So this is a, a necklace? Is this a necklace? Awfully short. Looks like a choker. What does this say? Same thing, Chanel 2, 3. Made in France. Fancy smancy made in Francie. Well, that's getting nice and sharp. 312. 312. I don't know what that means. I was hoping for like 18K. That would have been. <laughs> I've been like, Jen, pack it up. We're going to have a steak dinner for lunch. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what this is. If that's solid gold, I don't know, but it does need to be solid gold to be worth a ton of money. That is a Chanel vintage necklace right there. And I've never seen anything like that before. If I bought an entire locker and that was the only thing I found, I would be super happy. And in this locker, that is only one of many amazing finds. All right, last box, getting down to the end. Then we'll look at the scarves. <laughs> this is more really good stuff right here. Chanel. Chanel. Oh, necklace. This can't be solid gold. This has got to be like gold plated. That's my guess. Okay. This one's got another tab right here though. This one's... Is this way? No numbers on this one. Just Chanel. Made in France. No marks on that. Look at this thing. Just looking around here. Okay, that does have the numbers though. Ooh, Chanel 26 in the, uh, right there we got some numbers, one, two, two, two. I bet you that's like a registration or like a serial number for each piece. Okay, and you see the soldering right there? See the soldering around there? Say that's not solid gold, but it is still beautiful. Dang. Okay, what is this? This is more really heavy. No, actually, it's not that heavy. It's a large piece. Is this a belt or something? The heck, it's gaudy as all can be, but what's that? Chanel 2-9, made in France. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I'm not, I don't know. Is it a belt? Or is it just a big old gaudy necklace? Wow. <laughs> wow. Right? Wow. Chanel, 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 Chanel. Never found nothing like this, guys. Nothing ever, ever before. This is fantastic. All right, guys. I got to work over on this side of the table. Pay no attention to the baseball cards. Those are some lots ready to go for the auction coming up. And, uh, hey, once again, Monday nights. Monday nights at 5 p.m. Pacific auction. I was hoping maybe some more jewelry in here, but it's looking like all scarves. But I know some scarves can be very expensive. So, very expensive, right? So it could be very, very expensive. Let's see what we got. Because if anyone, if I was going to find expensive scarves, it would probably be in this locker. Because <laughs> this locker has been amazing. I don't see a tag on this one. Hmm. Look at that with the leopards on it. Ooh, that's nice. No tags on this as well. You guys know anything about scarves? If you spot something good, let me know. I think it'd be on a corner, but I don't see anything, so I don't know if that's a bad sign or if it doesn't. It doesn't matter. There's another scarf. They feel nice. They feel like silk. 
Okay, oh, here we go. 100% silk. Dry clean, all right. Made in Italy. That's good. That's pretty. 100% Seta silks, S-E-T-A. Made in Italy. It's another really pretty one right here. Oh, bummer, she took the tag off of this one. Tag's been ripped off. It's another very nice scarf. What is it? Is it the Fendi scarves that are like ultra expensive? Oh, look at this one. With the snail. No tags on it. Look at the corner. Huh. There's an Ann Klein. Ann Klein 2. Who does number two walk for? <laughs> I'm such trailer trash. I'm making Austin Powers cracks while going through some of the finest attire that we've ever found. Another one, the Seta Silk. 100% Seta Silk. That looks very similar to the other one. Beautiful. This one feels nice. Come on, be a Fendi or something really amazing. I mean, these prints are pretty amazing. Here's a cashmere scarf made in Italy. Uh, that's good. Ooh, what's this say? Laurel Piama. Or Piana. Huh, nice. Okay, is this a boring way to wrap it up with scarves? I don't know. I don't know. 100% polyester right here. Made in Italy. All right. There's a lot of scarves here. It's deceiving. The scarves are... <laughs> they fold up very small. And they're very light. Oh, wait. What does this say? Dana Buckman. Is that an expensive designer? I don't know. I uh, sure does hope so. There, Bas Basile. Let's get that in the camera. Basile. 100% silk made in Italy. Wow, these are so gorgeous. Really, really, really nice. They feel really nice. There's another Ann Taylor right here. No maker on this one. Nope, take it back. Salvatore Ferragamo. Okay. <laughs> Silk scarf. Oh, yeah. Ferragamo likes to use those leopards. Huh. We did see another leopard, didn't we? wonder if that was Ferragamo. Maybe I just didn't look close enough. It's pretty awesome. Here we go. Valentino. Oh, I think that is good. Valentino scarf. Silk scarves made in Italy. Designer brands. Is this another treasure? Is this another treasure? How am I going to fit this in one video? Oh, so many problems. That's called First World Problems. Giorgio Armani. Le Collection. Made in Italy. 100% silk. Seta silk. S-E-T-A. Another Seta silk. Oh, man. So soft. So soft. This has got to be big money right here. Here's another Valentino right here. Right there. Valentino. Valentino silk scarf. I think Valentino is expensive too. What do I know? What do I know? Here's Echo. Made in China. That's not as good as Italy. So, but it's still a pretty little scarf. It's going to take a lot more than that to impress me now though. Valentino and Ferragamo stuff. Get out of here, the made in China stuff. Right, this is Nordstrom. It's got that's kind of funny. It's got little credit cards, Nordstrom credit cards. Another Ann Klein. Pretty pretty. Balestra. Oh man, this does look nice. Balestra. Pretty. Okay, what do we got here? 
Another 100% set of silk. Okay. Here's another one. 100% set of silk. Okay, made in Italy. All right. Same thing, set of silk, made in Italy. I don't think these are designer brand, but they are still fine, fine stuff. Another one feels like cashmere. And look at this. Al Duca de Osta. Wool and Angora. Bergdorf Goodman. That's Another good. All right, guys, how's that for a find? How is that for a find? Chanel vintage jewelry, fine jewelry. Often when I come across items, like in the last few videos, and I'm saying things like, oh, I need to look them up, I flash the price on the screen. Well, we did look up a few of these pieces, but I'm saving that till the end. Very exciting stuff here. Let's go over some of the values. All right, first up, we've got three sets of earrings, right? Chanel earrings, there's one set, there's the other set, and there's that set, right? Three sets of earrings. Surprisingly, these earrings have a considerable amount of value. I have to find these exact ones, hopefully we can find the exact comps, but I'm gonna estimate it at 100 to $200 per set. No joke, that's crazy, right? So check out this comp I have right here. This I think is a sold price. This is for four pairs of vintage Chanel clip earrings. Very similar to what we have, not exact, but this sold for $775. This four pair, we've got three pair. If we can sell for a comparable price, we got about 600 bucks in earrings. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right, next up we got this belt that I, th I call it gaudy, maybe it's you know, it's, I'm sure it's for somebody. To me, it's a little gaudy. Uh, that belt, I couldn't find an exact comp. Let me show you what I got. I found another belt. It is a chain belt. I'm not sure if this one's vintage or not. It looks a little classier in my opinion. But this one sold for $672. $600. I mean, geez. We got some amazing value, really. Even if I got half of that, I'd be pretty happy. But of course, we're not going to be listing it for half of that. We're going to list it for almost the same amount and see if it sells. Uh, next up is this guy, choker right here. We did find this exact piece, check out the comp on that. This one is not sold, this is for sale, $823. You see there it is, they call it a horse motif. I don't know, what do you, does that look like a horse? I think it looks more like a lion. It definitely looks to me more like a lion, but I don't know. It's pretty cool, very short. I mean, this won't even fit around my neck. So that is a choker, but yeah, nice piece. 823 bucks even if we got six or seven hundred for this one piece that's inc is it incredible incredible all right but that's not the even the best piece this is and you know the funny thing is that i thought this this is my favorite this is my favorite piece and i must say it looks dang good on me too <laughs> i'm so tempted to keep this this is this is yeah it's not really my style, but I can make it my style. I mean, I found some Kango hats and wore those, made that my style. And uh, why not some gold plate Chanel, vintage Chanel? Um, I might be a little scared driving around with that, thinking I'll get carjacked, somebody take it off my neck, maybe my head with it, but uh, this is pretty cool. Check the comp on this one. We did also find the exact same piece on this. It's up for auction right now by another vendor. The starting bid is 2100 the buy it now price is 2800 so that's I think a pie in the sky number um, but we're gonna be pricing ours right in that range as well because quite honestly I'm in no hurry to, to sell this thing this is probably gonna be one of the nicest single pieces of jewelry that I've ever found it is pretty legit pretty legit and I kinda like it so I'm in no rush to have that thing go find a new home um, I'd be more anxious to sell the other pieces first and let this guy stick around a little bit longer. Plus, it looks hecka cool in my eBay store. Hecka cool. All right. So, the other finds in this video were the scarves. Um, to be honest with you, I've never found scarves like this before. We found some decent scarves, but never, never designer scarves like this. So, Jana went through a second time and looked at the scarves again very quickly. And um, I was looking for tags, but the tags, obviously, you saw me start to learn as I went through them. The, the better designers don't put tags on with their name, they put their name right in the print. So we found the Ferragamo, we found the Valentino, we found one Valentino, one Ferragamo. I think Jenna found a second Ferragamo. She also found 
a Versace scarf in there. So one of those scarves we looked at was a Versace scarf. So we need to slow down on those scarves, take a second look. I don't know if that makes terribly interesting video or not. Maybe I'll update you as to what we find on a future video. But there is some value there. I mean, there's actually some considerable value. The Ferragamo sell for around $50 to $150. And the Valentino's broader range, $20 to $200. Maybe there's some more. Uh, more expensive ones as well. We got to go through that as second pass more slowly. Look for those uh, designers, pull them out, research them appropriately. The other ones will probably make into a lot or two or three. Guys, if you're interested in buying some of this fine, fine jewelry or clothing or scarves, that you've seen in the last couple of videos or any of our videos for that matter, we'll be selling most of the stuff two ways, okay? Number one is in our eBay store and the link to the eBay store is in the description of basically every video I've ever published. We've had 318 videos plus lives. Every single one of them has got the description there. You got to find it, okay? It's in the description. There's a link. It'll get you there. You'll see all the items that we have. We have over 300 items right now listed and we're adding more almost every single day. Or number two is in our live auctions, all right? Live auctions are every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. We have a great, great show every Monday and lots of great items, usually around 40 to 50 lots of items, sometimes a little bit more. We go for hours and hours late into the night. We have so much stuff to sell and it is a great time and we really work hard to bring an exciting event for you guys. So check that out if you haven't before, Monday night at 5 p.m. All right, some of the stuff will make it there, but really some of the, all the Chanel's most likely going to go on the eBay store. Eh, who knows? Maybe we'll see. You got to show up for the live auction, see what we release uh, for auction. All right. This locker really has been an amazing ride. And uh, I went in, like I said before, I went in with such low, low expectations. That's the best. That's the best thing. This most exciting, biggest thrill, most adrenaline is when you go in with low expectations and you get blown away. And this one certainly did blow me away. This is by far the best find as far as designer clothing and jewelry that we've ever found. I mean, maybe ever will find. All right. I estimate the jewelry alone that we just saw $5,000 probably, you know, between the Chanel and the other pieces, $5,000 in jewelry. The clothing, I estimate around $10,000. And uh, then now we have scarves in there too. Plus we have all that cookware and a bunch of other stuff. This has been a fantastic locker and it's only beginning to pay out for us. So anyways, like I, I really appreciate you guys watching the videos. I hope you had fun. Next video will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locking Nuts, baby. Locking Nuts. Yeah, it's like 50 cents each. It was about 10. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I've had them since they came out. <laughs> no oh, crack. is that right? Yeah. Red, red through. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You got any more you want to sell?